Hello friends, this video on surface area and volume part 18 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 17. Let's take the last question the first time. Please pay attention. A metallic right circular cone 20 cm high and whose vertical angle is 60 degrees is cut into two parts at the middle by the height of the plane parallel to the base. So the first term should obtain be drawn into wire of diameter 1 by 6 cm. Find the length of the wire. That is, this angle is 60 degrees. There is a cone whose angle is 60 degrees and the height is 20. This total height is 20 actually of the cone, the first cone. Think what the height of the cone is 20 cm and the vertical angle is 10, 30 degrees, 60 degrees, sorry, is cut into two parts at the middle. So at this point, this is middle actually. So at this point, this is middle part. So this height is 10. And this height is also. Please note the middle part, at the middle part, it is cut by a horizontal plane parallel to base. The first term to form is obtained, is, is converted into the wire of diameter 1 by 16 cm. We have to find the length of the wire. So here, first we can find the volume of the first term. Now since this is a conversion from one shape to another, so volume of the first term will be equal to the volume of the wire. And then we can find the height of the or length of the wire. First, let's find the volume of the first term. So for finding the volume of the first term, we know the volume is nothing but 1 by 3 pi h into r1 square plus r2 square plus r1 r2 correct h is something we know that is 10 centimeter here this is we know but we don't know the value of r1 and r2 this is r1 and this is r2 we don't know first we have to find the value of r1 and r2 this we can do why how very simple since the angle is given this is 60 degree total so this angle is 30 degree this is a triangle form, we can say that O, this is A, this is B, this is A dash, B dash, we can see here. So if you see this is a triangle form, we can draw this triangle here. This is O, A dash, B dash, this is 30 degree. Correct? This height we know is 10. Using tan we can find this height. This is R1, so this is R2. Similarly, the other triangle we have. This is O, this is A and B. In this case, this is 20. This is 20. And this length, this angle is again 30 degree. And this is R1 actually here. AB is R1. So we can find R1 also, we can find R2 also using tan theta. Correct? So we can see that here. Let's find the value of R1 and R2. Let's say that tan 30 degree. In triangle, we are taking O, A dash, B dash. We can say that. It is nothing but tan 30 is. Pandit, Badri, Prashad, Hari, Hari, whole sign cos tan P by B. Stan theta, P is R2 and B is 10. So we can say that R2 is equal to 10 tan 30 and is equal to 10 tan 30 is 1 by root 3. So 10 by root 3 is the value of R2. Similarly, if you take this triangle here also tan 30 is equal to r1 by 10 here, 20 sorry, because this is r1 and this is 20, correct? So we get r1 is nothing but 20 tan 30 and that is nothing but 20 into 1 by root 3, that is 20 by root 3 centimeter or something, correct? So I have got the value of r1 and r2. Now since I have the value of R1, R2 and I know the value of height h, I can find the volume of thrust term. I will use the same formula and put here the values. That is 1 by 3 into pi into h is 10 into R1 square that is 20 by root 3 square plus this R2 square that is 10 by root 3 square plus R1, R2 that is 10 by root 3 into 20 by root 3. Correct? So if you solve this, I won't solve this for you because I don't have space, you get 
2200.9 centimeter cube. This is the volume that comes out. Volume of frustum comes out to be 22,000.9 centimeter cube. Now, since this frustum is now converted into one cylinder, cylindrical wire, where the diameter is uh, 1 by 16 centimeter, is the D. So radius will be 1 by 32 centimeter and length we have to find. So we can say that volume of frustum will be equal to volume of wire. Volume of frustum we know that is 22000 by 9 equal to volume of wire pi, pi r square h. What is the value of uh, pi I can see 22 by 7 r we know 1 by 32 so I will say 1 by 32 into 1 by 32 and h is something we have to find. So in this equation if I find the value of h or l anything height or length same thing h comes out to be 7000 by so it is cancelled so 7000 by 9 because this gets cancelled into correct then 7000 by 9 into 32 into 30 that is 7964444.44 centimeter you can convert this to meter because it's a very big unit so divide by 1000 so it becomes 7 divided by 100 actually becomes a meter 7964.44 0.45 across meter. Correct? This is centimeter, this is meter, and that is mass. So the length of the wire form is 7964 meter. Why? Because the wire is in the form of cylinder. If you observe this wire, it's always in the form of cylinder. Please note the wire is always in the form of cylinder. But the length is the height, length or height, same thing. And the time interval radius we can. So what we have done, first we have found the value of R1 and R2 because angle was given, we found the value of R1 and R2, applied the formula to get the volume of frustum. Volume of frustum is nothing but the volume of wire, correct, the volume of frustum is equal to volume of wire, this equation we had. From this equation we got the height or the length of the wire to be 7964.45. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos. Try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.